Welcome everyone, this is Masters Joke, also Masters Joke 75 on Instagram. I'm at Tilbury Fort today, it's the end of the school summer holiday, so no one's here. And look where I am. A Wonder Woman filming location, and I love Wonder Woman. <laughs> very, very excited to be back at Tilbury Fort. So I haven't been here for, um, must be like about 15 years. Um, I do like a fort, my <laughs> <laughs> my fort of today. Uh, my favourite fort is uh, is the North Fort in Weymouth. Just absolutely love it. Um, this one's this one's just as impressive. Um, I mean this this is uh, this is on the Thames Estuary to put to protect, well basically to protect London. But it go it it, it dates back to uh, Henry the Eighth's time, and every, everyone loves <laughs> Henry the Eighth. It was actually built during his his reign, but but I, but it's known for Queen Elizabeth as well. I mean, a lot of this stuff I remember from back in the day because I, I used to love I used to love the Tudors uh, when I used to do history at school. But Queen Elizabeth, this is where she did her famous um, speech, um, and there's loads there's loads of stuff about it. But she did a famous speech. Every every you you'd know it um, if you heard it, um, and that was during um, that was that was when she was. Getting her men ready for the, you know, to fight the Armada, the old Spanish back in the, back in the day, like fifteen eighty eight. But I mean, I'll I'll come to that later because there, there's loads of stuff about it. Because it's um, I mean, this is this is just a uh, one big amazing museum. Bit of a <laughs> bit of a habit now because I seem to, I've gone to a museum every Friday for the last uh, four weeks. <laughs> I, I love a museum. You can't not, and this this um this is English heritage seven pound fifty to get in, I mean that is just a that is just amazing, but I mean you enter it through the um the well it's it's through the the Watergate which was very very impressive built in sixteen eighty two, um looks it it looks better it looks better from the actual main entrance, and apparently <laughs> apparently it was built with uh, like a monumental architecture. Uh, to impress everyone passing in their ships on the Thames. That's the guardhouse. Upstairs is where the chapel is. I did do some filming in the chapel, but um, so someone was having a, you know, so, so, someone was deep in prayer, and I thought, you know, that's private. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna put that on YouTube. But the, uh, I definitely would recommend going into the, um, going into the chapel because it's a proper place of uh, worship. And downstairs is is uh, the entrance and you know the gift shop. I love a gift shop. I love a bit of merchandise, and I wasn't you know you won't be disappointed. I wasn't disappointed in this place. Um, but now this 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 is great, and I like the um, I like the I, I, I love the uh, the old guns they've got and and um, ancient cannons from back in the day, as well as more more kind of up to date modern stuff. But um, yeah, honestly, this place is absolutely amazing. But of course, it's also it's also used um, in in Wonder Woman, which was uh, which came out in twenty seventeen. Now I'm I'm more of a I'm <laughs> I'm more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan. I always have been. I, I've I've always loved um, you know I grew up with uh, Superman, George Reeves when I when I was a kid and. Um, I mean, I did, I, I did love Spider Man and the Spider Man TV series. Also, the cartoon like um, Spider Man and his amazing friends. Used to love that, but you know the Batman TV series and um, and of course Wonder Woman and the Superman movies. I just, I just love them. Didn't re- I didn't really see much of the the Marvel stuff. Although I used to, used to love the Hulk. Hulk's one of my. I'd, I'd say Hulk's my favorite character from the marvel universe but yeah so this place was used in uh in wonder woman and it's i mean i've been here before but it's one of, it's one of the main reasons because uh, obviously this it was filmed uh, since i was last year it's, it, it, it was um used for the for the filming of wonder woman and and i, I, ju- I just love i just love the movie and i also loved <laughs> i also loved wonder woman 1984 i know a lot of people didn't think that was um that was that great but i thought it, i've I thought it was brilliant. I I love I love a bit of a retro. You must you must know by now that I'm a I'm a sucker for nostalgia. <laughs>
I thought this was interesting. So this is where the gun commander's position was. And this is where the gun crews were controlled. And apparently it was originally covered by a flat roof timber building with a large observation window in front. So, I mean, look at, I mean, look at the view. So you could see everything, you know, in relation to enemy attack coming your way. Um, and then this large uh, gun is a six inch breech loader similar to two installed at Tilbury around 1904 and it was capable of inflicting serious damage on armoured warships. It has a fish shield to protect its crew and stands in a deep concrete pit to which cartridges and shells were relayed on lifts from the magazines below. And I'll show you that later. Guns of this calibre were commonly used throughout the British Isles until 1956 when the development of rockets made them obsolete. Lovely view of Gravesend, just, uh, just across the Thames there. And if you look to your right, you can just make out a steeple of St George's Church. And that's actually where Princess Pocahontas is buried. So she's, she's buried um, in the churchyard somewhere. They don't know exactly where, where for sure. She's definitely there, but they've actually um, erected a life-sized bronze statue, which I, uh, that was back in 1958. So I'd very much like to like to visit um st george's church uh, i mean yeah i mean it's it's you know london london and well i suppose you'd class that as kent but it's uh it's just full, it's just full of history uh, and <laughs> funny enough um I, I was buying the uh if you follow me on the instagram and also youtube i i i managed to get hold of all of the disney 100 anniversary lego minifigures Apart from Pocahontas, that's the only one I haven't got. So I might have to, I might have to have a look on eBay because they're now doing the Marvel ones. Talking of superheroes, but you now this this uh, this place is absolutely amazing. That's the uh, that's the officers' um, ha houses there, just there on the right. And now we're going to enter the six-inch shell store, which I kind of uh, touched on this earlier when we were looking at the uh, the, the, the the large guns. But I, I thought this was really impressive. So this is the shell store for one of the six-inch guns, which we saw above. And against its walls are the steel supports for wooden shelves that supported the, the heavy six-inch shells. And they really are heavy. There's also a well-preserved mechanical lift that was used to transport shells to the emplacement above. And um, what I like about this is that you can actually... Um, I mean, this is, this is kind of like the crane mechanism. And I like... I like interactive museums where you get where you're able to touch the exhibits. Not in all cases, but this is all part of history. And they've actually got a shell um, on display, actually um, in the crane, and you can actually lift it. Well, I didn't know. I was with my younger brother. He showed me that you could lift it, but um, you can actually lift it, and you can feel how heavy it was, and um, you can just imagine um, how kind of. Uh, how how fit the soldiers would have had to be to continue filling the crane with shells to to the guys above to uh, kind of um, protect the fort from a uh, yeah from any enemy attack. So yeah, I, I really did like this. This this was this this was a a really interesting um, part of the fort. Honestly, you've you've got to come here. It's Having it on film doesn't do, do it justice. I mean, it's a really, really, really good, uh, good day out. Seven pound fifty. Let your eyes be your guide. So this, this is yeah. So this was the officers' quarters, just there on the right. That's also where the toilets are. If well, at the back. If you know, if if you do, uh, if you are caught short. <laughs> but honestly, this this place is, it's it's just. It's just brilliant. I mean, um, it's so well preserved, so well looked after, and as I, and as I said at the beginning, because this is like the end of the school summer holidays, it was empty, which which is what it's the way I pr prefer it. I like, I don't, <laughs> I, I, I hate it when. Well, I say I hate it uh, a lot of the time. A lot of the time when I go, um, when I when I go to museums during the holidays with my son. Because it's the school holidays, they're absolutely packed, like the Science Museum and the History Museum. This this was spot on. I, I, I love it. And I'll definitely be back. But these, these are the tunnels. And um, <laughs> honestly, I don't... <laughs> I, 
I don't have anything to do with uh, the supernatural, but something happened in this very room, and I'm gonna I'm gonna replay it for you because it it wasn't until I watched it back that I thought, what the hell was that? So I, I I've I've never had any uh, weird experiences. Because as I said, I've been to loads of old places and forts. But when I went into that first room, and yeah, I was with my younger brother, but I, but he, because he didn't want to be on film, he was kind of walking ahead of me. And so, so we were kind of, you know, it's, it's not massive, this fort, but I was on my own in that room. There's only one light. And when I was actually editing the video, I actually saw a shadow. <laughs> and I thought, well, how can there be a, two shadows? My shadow was moving on the right-hand side. And there was like a shadow... <laughs> my wife I showed my wife she said it looked like a monk it's like a hooded type figure on the left and I'm thinking well, how can there be two shadows when there's well how can there be two shadows when there's only one person in this room there's only one light which is um, obviously it's electricity but it's made to look kind of like old fashioned um, and then as I as, as I was so, so straight away I'm feeling a bit kind of like um, what is that shadow and on, on the footage, as I walk by the shadow, as I come to the exit of the room, you kind of hear a moan. Honestly, it freaked me out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play that I'm gonna play that back for you. Just just let me know what you think. Honestly, let me know in the comments below what you think it was because I, I was, I, when I was doing the editing, I, I, I was in shock. Um, literally seeing that shadow on the left left hand side of the screen, and thinking, what what, what was that? Because it does look like a kind of a like a hooded figure, but then, <laughs> but then just to hear that kind of what was it like a. A, a growl or a, a whisper I don't know but just to see that on the just to hear that as as I on the footage as I walked out of the room honestly it's it's freaked me out blown me away but so so when I, when I got home I did it I did a bit of research because nothing's that nothing um I mean look it could, it could have just been the wind but what what <laughs> what what was that shadow all about? Because I honestly I was in that room on my own and there was only one light source. So what was it? But um, I did a bit of a bit of research just to see if there were any um, known ghosts at Tilbury Fort, and um, I read online that it's not very common in relation to the supernatural. But the tunnels, which is where I was, the tunnels under the fort are believed to be the hot spot of the site we reported tales of a strange mist as people walked by. So my, so my hooded figure wasn't a mist. And I didn't see any mist while I was, while I was down there. But no, it's really, it's just bizarre. It's just really, really blown me away because I, I, I came here to see uh, Wonder Woman uh, movie locations. I didn't expect to, to, uh, <laughs> to have the uh, supernatural growling at me as I'm walking around uh, these eerie tunnels. But yeah, honestly, I, it, you, you've got to come down here. It's 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 brilliant. I mean, it's you know, it's it's a great day. I, mean, I could have stayed all day. I could have stayed all day. I, I I needed to get to Lakeside though. That was that was the plan. Come down here and then go to Lakeside after. I haven't, I haven't been to Lakeside for absolutely ages. But um, yeah, yeah. This nothing like this has uh, has ever happened in relation to the <laughs> in relation to the. The supernatural, but but let's let's get let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the tour of the fort, and also, as I mentioned, the Wonder Woman locations. So if you look over this wall, this is the um, inner bridge that crosses the inner moat, and it comes. I mean, basically, the the, uh, the entrance to the bridge is called the Landport Gate. Now, the land the Landport Gate that's where uh, that's that's one of the locations used in Wonder Woman. But I'll, but I'll come to that um, a bit later on because the actual bridge was featured quite heavily in the, uh, I don't know if you remember, the Tom Hardy BBC TV series Taboo. He only did one series and I, again it was in the same year that Wonder Woman came out, 2017. 
uh, Tom was playing <laughs> Tom like I know him. He, he was playing James Delaney. I, I thought it was a good series. I, I quite enjoyed it. But they used this bridge um, quite heavily. Um, loads of CGI. Looks really impressive. If you ever get a chance, uh, check it out. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, it's, so it's not just, <laughs> not just Wonder Woman that was filmed here. But also, don't forget, Tom Hardy, he was also in Batman Begins. And that was filmed in Tilbury, but, but at the Coal Hill Fort, which, which is literally just down the road. So, so yeah, l- a, a little bit of a TV, <laughs> kind of TV uh, trivia there for you. Um, you know, the, the, I mean, Tom, I think Tom Hardy is a fantastic act, actor. But yeah, so that's, so, that, so yeah, so it wasn't just Wonder Woman, but I'm here, <laughs> I'm here for Wonder Woman. So, as as you um as you go uh, beyond the bridge, the 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 actual entrance to the bridge, which I mentioned, is the Lamport Gate. That actually has um, that actually has a a, a mortuary above it, which is called a uh, it's called the Dead House. But I'm gonna I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. I mean, this whole um, parade ground was used in the Wonder Woman movie, where uh, Steve escapes in an aeroplane. Um, even even this uh, Victorian uh, pump, this was this was in the uh, I, I believe it was this. Uh, there's a few pumps because there's marsh, there's marshland. Uh, obviously, before running water, here's a, here's a little clip of it. I'm sure it is this very pump. There's a few of them around, but there's marshland below the fort and before running water. That's where they used to get um, all their water from. But um, yeah, I mean the, the whole parade ground was used. You see Steve escaping. But before he before he escapes, I mean, I'll, I'll go to, I'll go to the actual um, Landport Gate uh, just to show you where Steve actually escapes from, uh, because honestly, it just blows me away. I just love being at movie locations because I actually then feel <laughs> I actually feel part of the uh, the movie. But um, yeah, I, I I know it sounds it sounds a bit ridiculous, but I know I just I just love it, and I th- I thought um, Wonder Woman was a a great film, obviously starring uh, Gal Gadot and uh, Chris Pine um, as uh, Steve Trevor, and in in the actual uh, I mean th- this is this is amazing. I I I I actually love being here, but in the actual film, you actually see uh, Chris Pine um, running away. Um, so I'm I'm going towards the actual gate, but he's kind of running away as he's escaping the uh, the, the Turkish. Well, it's 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 actually um, a secret military installation in the Ottoman Empire. I've heard a lot of people call it a Turkish army base, but it but it's Ottoman. <laughs> Get your facts right. <laughs> I do, I need the best at this house. I always do my research. But yeah, so you see that you see Chris Pine or Steve Steve Trevor. Running, running away, and that's when he go, That's when he runs into the uh, parade ground and steals steals an aeroplane. Um, it's, I mean, if if I mean, you know, if if you remember the movie, it's um, this is also where um, Doctor Moru, um, she had like the the melted face, and <laughs> one of the reasons this movie sticks out in my mind in this particular scene is because my son. Uh, we probably watched watched it for the first time maybe twenty, probably twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Well, probably, I think twenty eighteen, um, where my son was getting into superhero uh, movies, uh, but he couldn't watch it any further because she had that because she had that melted uh, melted face. But Doctor Moru or Doctor Poison, as she was first known in the Wonder Woman comics in nineteen forty two, she's working on a kind of new weapon. And and it's Steve. Steve basically um, gets this weapon, which is this kind of poison, which they're going to use on the Allies, and um, yeah, and escapes in a in a World War One biplane. So uh, yeah, great film. And if you haven't seen it, definitely uh, definitely, definitely check it out. I mean, I I absolutely love I absolutely love DC. I, it, honestly, it's it's far superior than Marvel. I. Mar- Marvel's just I don't know. Although um, um, talking to DC, sup- for me Superman will always be <laughs> Christopher Reeve because he is Superman for me. 
Um, I, de- I mean, I, Wonder Woman is, she's great. I, I could watch her films all day long. But, um, the, the, you know, the, the new Superman and, I mean, the Justice League, I can only really watch it because of, um, <laughs> because of Gal Gadot. I mean, she makes it. I don't really like the uh, the current Superman. If I if I'm honest, I, I don't really. It just it's just not the same. It's just not the same. I'm, I'm old school. I'm I'm from the eighties, but yeah, just just being here, at a Wonder Woman um, filming location, it's it's just great. And also this um this this kind of um, uh, passageway from the Landport Gate. It it was also used um, in Tom Hardy's taboo. You you see Tom Hardy kind of going down the same the same passageway. So so yeah, but it's it, but it, it's great when there's uh you know there's kind of TV and movie connections and oh, I I absolutely love it. I love visiting um, movie locations and TV locations because as I say, it brings you into that kind of uh, uh, production. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I, I just feel part of it when you can actually stand in exactly the same place where the uh, where the character, um, you know, read their lines and, and, and certain scenes. And, and to me, this is a scene that stood out, stood out for me in the actual movie. But um, yeah, and, and also, I mean, this is so the majority of the, the fort was used for the actual uh, filming. But what we but what we're gonna do? I mean, because obviously there was um, the whole parade ground was used where they had the uh, the planes. Lots of CGI involved, but they did put up the um, they did put up flags and and bits and pieces. But what what we are gonna do is after uh, before <laughs> before I go to Lakeside, um, we're gonna go to um, our next Wonder Woman location, which is just in front of you on the horizon, and that is the um, uh, that is the Tilbury um, to Gravesend uh, ferry terminal. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go there after because that was another that was another um, scene in the movie. But I mean, I'll, I'll go I'll go through that I'll go through that in a bit. I mean, um, back back to the fort, and you you can you can totally see why they would why, why this would be a popular location to do you know TV and uh, movie productions. And I've got to. I'm. I'm a, I'm a big. Um, I'm a big Batman fan as well. I absolutely love it. And I must. I must check out the Coal Hill Fort because um, I've never been there before. I went to the Fort in Deal. That was that was quite nice. But I've not. You know, the Coalville Fort is 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 just. It's still in Tilbury, just down the road. So I'd like to check that out and um, and uh, and and see some <laughs> see some. Batman locations, because I think the um, I think it's the scene where uh, Bruce Wayne he's in that kind of jail with the Tom Hardy character. Um, so yeah, I haven't I haven't seen that um, I haven't seen that film for ages. I've still I've still got to watch the Flash. I was I, I was obviously because I'm a fan of Batman 1989 and uh, <laughs> the 89 Batman Batmobile. I've I've got I've, I've got to say I think it is my f- well, oh, it's, it's a toss up, isn't it, between the eighty nine and the six, uh, the sixty six Batman. No, nah, the sixty six Batman Bill's my favourite, but the um, the eighty nine comes close. But uh, yeah, I've, I've I've got to check that out be, because um, I just uh, me and my son we were gonna we we planned to watch the, the Flash movie, but. Um, he broke his leg in Dubai, literally on our first day. That, but that's a that's that's another that's another story. <laughs> so this is another interesting um, place to visit at the fort. So these are the gunpowder magazines. So um, there's two of these, um, and th- there's one on either side of the uh, you know the entrance to the, to the bridge, which I just showed you, the land port gate. So this, this I mean, look at the beautiful copper doors. I mean, the, the whole place is just, uh, it's just, uh, it's just wonderful. It's just, it's just wonderful architecture. But um, both, both uh, magazines, they held the vast quantities of gunpowder to supply the army and also the navy. You know, um, for, for for the many uh, battles and wars that have been had by Britain over over, over many years. <laughs> But um, 
these are the only ones of the early 18th century left in Britain. Um, originally, both had high-pitched roofs, but these were reduced in the 19th century to make the magazines less visible from enemy attack. The 18th century blast wall around the magazines was built partly for security, but mainly to provide some protection for the garrison in the event of an explosion. Gunpowder is volatile, and a single spark could be... Well, I think you can work that one out for yourself. <laughs> but no, this, this place is a really uh, interesting part of the fort. I mean, the whole place is just just full of uh, um, history. I mean, one, one of the things um, I didn't mention at the beginning, so I've, I've obviously done this... Uh, done this tour before um but as part of your as part of your admission you can have um similar to when i did the um the tour of the emirate stadium you get kind of like um headphones and there's little parts um you know like the little signs there's there's little parts um where you can listen to um facts and information about certain parts of the fort but but you know because i because i've done it before I, I didn't bother with that this time Sim similar to the uh arsenal emirates uh tour i just i i didn't need to because i kind of uh knew it already but this i do like this part this part is more like museum gives you a bit of history this is the the, the gunpowder um very uh very reminiscent of um guy fawkes which reminds me uh november the 5th is coming up <laughs> I mean, time is going so quick. It's going to be uh, it's going to be Christmas before you know it. And here is uh, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. Here is the information about um, Queen Elizabeth the first because I love I love the Tudors because it was one of, I really I, I'm more interested in World War One and World War Two now. But when I was younger, I was more interested in the Tudor and the kings and the queens. But this is all this this is all about. Um, um, Queen Elizabeth I and and her um, association with uh, with uh, Tilbury um, during the Am the Armada against the Spanish, and um, it also um, mentions her her famous speech. There's also history here about the about the fort, and um, you know because because it date because it does date back to the Tudor period, built during um, Henry VIII's reign. There's just so much, um, so much history here. I know I have the body of a weak and a feeble woman, but I have the heart and stomach of a king and a king of England too, and think foul scorn that Parma or Spain or any prince of Europe should dare to invade the borders of my realm. Queen Elizabeth I at Tilbury, the heart of a king. That's one of the, um, that's one of the famous Mm. speeches so it's just outside here i'd like to i'd like to find the location where she actually said it i think it's an old um an old little wooden pier but i think it's right away oh as i've as i've been um <laughs> as i've been making this uh this vlog i do realize that i uh I mentioned the Coal Hill Fort in Tilbury, and it's actually called <laughs> it's actually called the Coal House Fort. So, so rather than go back and redo my voiceover, I just thought I would correct myself. I think I must. <laughs> I, th I think I must have um, maybe because because Coal the Coal Hill School was the school in the the first episode of Doctor Who back in nineteen sixty three. So I think um, maybe I've got uh, got Doctor Who overload from all those character options, B and M, <laughs> B and M sets, and uh, videos that I've been making over the last uh, few days. So apologies for that, but I will, <laughs> I will, I will try and make um, make an attempt at going to the <laughs> Coal House Fort in Tilbury, where Batman Begins was filmed. So now. I'm going to make my way to the uh, West Gunpowder Magazine, which was built in 1716. So, um, yeah, we're going to walk around to it um, in a moment. But because there's, the, the, I mean, normally in the, in the um, till before, normally it's empty. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it would be fantastic to do uh, 
um, to, to, to use it for uh, like TV or movie production because it's, it's a big empty magazine. But um, they've currently got an exhibition in there. So it's, uh, it's an art exhibition and it's called, uh, I, I found it quite interesting. It's called uh, Wandering the Wilderness of uh, Tilbury. And it's an art exhibition by Anna Keane. And basically what she's, uh, what she's done, she, her, her exhibition features um, landscapes of the River Thames. So, I mean, a lot of it is of the, uh, the North Fort. <laughs> Did I just say the North Fort? <laughs> I mean the Tilbury Fort. I, I do need to get down to Weymouth though. I haven't been to, I haven't been to Weymouth. I haven't been to Weymouth for uh, for years. North Fort will always be my uh, my <laughs> my favourite fort. But anyway, going back to Anna. So so Anna Keane's got this uh, exhibition, and it, and it's it's basically basically loads loads of uh, um, artwork featuring um, landscapes of the uh, of the River Thames. So it's definitely worth worth um, worth checking out. I mean, it, the admission. Uh, it's in, well, the admission to the. Uh, our exhibition is included with uh, your ticket into the fort, which is seven pound fifty. Let your eyes be your guide, and um, the exhibition is currently running until the thirtieth uh, of September. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth checking out. If you know, even if you're not into art, I like this industrial one. But even if you're not into art, it's just good to go into another, another room within the fort because it's all stacked full of history. I mean, uh, look, I mean, look at it. It's, I don't know. It, it blows me away. I love, I love, <laughs> I love visiting old, uh, old abandoned fortresses. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite um, piece from this exhibition would be, uh, would be this one here, uh, and the reason being is, um, I don't know where this is located, but it's but my my nan who I was very close to. She passed away back in September. 1998 um but there's photos in her old album of when she was a young woman and um it features that scene uh, and my nan also came from kent looked like she might have been on holiday so i'd like to dig out those photos and visit there similar to visiting a movie location that would be interesting here's a here's a better look of uh the bridge from uh from tom hardy's taboo and just behind me that that was the um the mortuary the dead house um, but yeah, absolutely stacked with history. Well, well worth the money. Um, highly recommended. Definitely, de definitely check it out. I've always meant to um, meant to get one of those uh, English Heritage yearly passes because there's so many places you can go to. But I never, I never have, a, I never have enough time to to, to visit them all. But because um, because I want to go back to. Uh, Dover Castle. I have, again, I, I went. I went there roughly the same time I last visited Tilbury Fort. So, I, like, I, I did like Dover Castle. That was good. good. Oh, there's so many great places out there. Um, but yeah, what's it? Maybe maybe I'll go to another museum next week. But yeah, really, really good. Um, just just a just a great day out and also very very relaxed because there was there was hardly anyone here because it was the end of the uh end of the summer holidays one of the things that i wasn't aware of which happened at tilbury fort was that some of the jacobite prisoners were set were sent down from uh, inverness to be held as prisoners while they waited um for their trials in london so if you, i mean if you don't know what the jacobite um rebellion was happened in uh, 1745 to 1746 and it was the last attempt by the Scottish to restore the Scottish and English thrones to a descendant of James II who had been deposed in 1688. His grandson Charles, known as Bonnie Prince Charlie, everyone knows Bonnie Prince Charlie, led the rebellion which despite initial successes ended in defeat at Culloden in 1746. Bonnie Prince Charlie spent months in hiding before leaving Scotland, never to return. Of the 3,500 Jacobite prisoners, 303 sailed from Inverness for Tilbury, enduring appalling conditions of starvation and disease aboard small transport ships. 
On the 11th of August, 1746, 268 survivors landed and were imprisoned in the powder mills of Tilbury Fort. Within a month, 45 had died, mainly of typhus. The survivors were tried in London early in 1747. Some were executed, but many were transported to Barbados and Antigua as slave labourers on sugar plantations. Only a few men were released. A memorial stone to the bravery and suffering of the Jacobite prisoners stands in the lee of the river wall at Tilbury, outside the Watergate, a sad reminder of cruel times. I absolutely love this place. I mean, everywhere you look is a different story uh, from a different <laughs> from a different part of time. I mean, um, that, that's that, that's one of the one of the things I love about about the UK. Uh, that there are places that that are, that are this old. Um, I mean, I, I mentioned that I, when I was at school, I used to love the Tudors. They used to fascinate me, especially Henry VIII and also <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth I. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a fan of the royal family whatsoever. I, but uh, I don't know, the, Tud- the Tudors just just, uh, just fascinated me. And this was before I used to watch Black Adder, <laughs> honestly. But um, a lot of this... A lot of this um, goes back to the fact that the River Thames was such an important route into England. Not not just in Tudor times, but going going all the way back to, to Roman times. So it you know it made sense that the Tudors um, built defences, especially with the you know the dockyards of uh, Woolwich and also um, uh, Deptford. But I mean Woolwich, you know, there's also that Arsenal connection where uh, Arsenal came from. And that's another place that I want to visit. Um Woolwich Arsenal. There's a there's a um, there's a plaque, um, which which has been put up at the old um, the old arms house, and I think there's a pub there as well. I saw saw something on YouTube, where Ars- I mean, for me, Arsenal's home ground will always be um, will always be Highbury, because they spent they spent the most time there. But you know, they actually came from Woolwich Arsenal. And I used to pass <laughs> in a previous life. I used to pass Woolwich Arsenal every weekend when I used to visit one of my ex-girlfriends <laughs> who lived in uh, South London uh, via, via the Blackwall Tunnel and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the Woolwich Ferry. All the memories are coming back. But um, yeah, no, this, this, this place is, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and what a better way to, to end your, uh, your visit to, to the uh, Tilbury Fort than a, than a visit to the gift shop. And I, I, I picked up a few little bits and pieces, if, if I'm honest. Uh, they had a they had some some nice little bargains. It, that air raid shelter, um, hand printed, reduced to two pounds. So I bought one, I bought one of them for the garage. I also got my son one of the uh, trench um, whistles. So I think that was uh, six pounds. Re- quite heavy, really well detailed. Um, but yeah, I, I do love a good good gift shop, and that was that was a well stocked gift shop. But yeah, definitely. You you've got you've got to check this place out. It is absolutely uh, first class. Seven pound fifty to get in. Um, I, as I said, I could I could have stayed I could have stayed all day. They've also got a little kind of um, a little tea shop, so you can get refreshments there as well. So um, yeah, I mean it's it's um, it was a beautiful day. So so we we were lucky. It was a beautiful day. Obviously, um, what was it autumn? Autumn starts. Is it the twenty? I think it's the tw- is it the twenty third of September? I, f- I believe. I don't know for sure, but I think that's when autumn starts. Uh, and then the uh, the the dark <laughs> the dark evenings. Uh, winter is coming, <laughs> but but this was great. But um, yeah, as as I mentioned, I ca- I came I, I came to back to Tilbury Fort to um to to see the uh, filming locations for. Wonder Woman, but that's not the only location that I visited. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, it, well, in the distance here, you can see it. This is the Tilbury um, Ferry Terminal, and this takes you all the way to to Gravesend. And it also takes cars as well. So, you know, if you, if you do want to go and visit, um, you know, after you've been to the fort, if you do want to go and visit Princess Pocahontas this <laughs> this is definitely the uh, transport for you so um yeah so this was the location that was used in a uh, Wonder Woman it's the scene 
where um, Wonder Woman and um, and Steve they're boarding the uh, the actual um, the, the 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 ship with all the with all the soldiers. So the the big bridge there on the left that that's actually a that's actually a car bridge. So people aren't supposed to go on it, but they actually used the the actual bridge um, for you know for the soldiers and Wonder Woman and Steve and all these pals to, to, to kind of go down. Uh, loads and loads of CGI used used as well. I mean, like you, you can see the ship in the distance as they're walking down the bridge, and um, yeah, obviously that wasn't there, but really, really impressive. Well, what a fantastic um, location because I've I've never been here before. Uh, and and the weird thing is, when you watch the movie, you've got no idea where these locations actually are, and it's um and it's it's quite good that it's it's literally how long did it take me to walk here? So along along the <laughs> along the um along the actual uh, Thames, probably took me ten minutes, maybe less than ten minutes to walk from because we we parked the car at, at the uh, at the fort. So about ten minutes along along the river just just to get to the to the ferry terminal and uh yeah i wasn't disappointed at all I, and again, again when i get to a movie location i kind of get a little bit um involved <laughs> i'm going to stay there going to stay there all day because then because then i feel part of the film i feel part of the uh part of the action but um yeah so so the so the bridge on the on the right that's a that that's a smaller um passenger bridge you know for for um foot walkers so i thought i'll, I'll, I'll have a walk walk down there because it because it was also you also see it um in the uh movie as well and you also see scenes of the bridge with the soldiers from where from where people wait to actually board board the uh the actual uh ferry um so yeah re- really well, I, I I found it interesting because I love movie locations, but um, de- definitely worth definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of uh, of Wonder Woman, and um, honestly, what a great location because it's proper, it's proper of of the time, you know. And but the the, the bridge um, apparently it can only take the weight of one vehicle at a time, which <laughs> you know what drivers are like. I mean, I mean, it says it says one vehicle, but um, you can't trust anyone these days. I'm sure there's been more than one on there, but it does look proper battered. I mean, in the in the movie, um, it's all kind of rusty, um, looks battered, but um, <laughs> that's what it looks like in real life. It does actually look battered, and it's kind of like rusting apart. So, uh, yeah. Um, that, that that was a bit alarming, if I if I'm honest. And yeah, this is the this is the uh, the actual um, walkway to um, you know f- for the uh, ferry walk on passengers, and um, it's actually 55 meters meters long. It was it was it was quite um, it was quite a <laughs> quite a nice little walk because uh, again, there's another um, exhibition here at the terminal, and it's um, it's. Eve Wright's memories, and it's basically um, it, this actual bridgeway. It features the stories of thirty people who were from the uh, Windrush era. Uh, it's a, it, it, I read up on it um, because there is, there, yeah. This is, again, this scene is is in the movie as well, and I believe that little um, little hut is um, shown in the movie of Wonder Woman. But go, yeah, going back to the the Eve Wright memories, um, I, I, I did read um, some of it because on, on on the actual en- on the en- entrance door, written on the back of the door is all about the actual uh, exhibition. Um, apparently, it's, it's supposed to be interactive as well because each of the window panes have something about um, these uh, thirty people from the Windrush era, but it wasn't it wasn't interactive at all. Um, well. I was the only person there, so maybe they turned it off. I don't know, but yeah, it's interesting if you're, uh, if you're, uh, it's another aspect of of history that that people should uh, should know about. So nice touch, um, very enjoyable day. Great to visit a movie location. I love Wonder Woman. Um, 
I, I, I honestly, I, I love, I love DC. Ab absolutely uh, fantastic. But um, yeah, you know the drill. It's time to get something to eat. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking, let's look for a spoons. So uh, yeah, my <laughs> my brother said, yeah, there's a spoons, less than a mile away. But unfortunately, it's in Gravesend. <laughs> so there's no way, there's no way we can do a spoons on this visit. So uh, as I mentioned earlier on. We were going to Lakeside, so I thought I've I've never you know I did my Wendy's I've never done Tim Hortons, which is Canadian, and I've heard I've heard some good things about Tim Hortons, and <laughs> I love merch, I love any shop with a merch. And I don't think, like you know, like the Starbucks merch and the Costa Coffee merch, Tim Hortons they're doing it as well and they sell the coffee because they're famous for their coffee, so I, I love a shop with a merch. Similar to, they don't do enough merch in, in show. Where, where's the McDonald's merch? But yeah, so I, I got um, I got one of their chicken, their chicken burgers, and I've got to say it was really, really nice. Really, really enjoyed it. A strawberry lemonade as well. It was a very hot day. Um, one of the things though, why? And it's not just Tim Hortons, but why can't you know if you all because I, 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 you know, you know, you, you go in. And you you choose what you want, and then you um, on on the uh, on the touch screen, and then you pay for the goods. You choose your dip. Why don't they just put the dip in the bag? What 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 is what is it? It's not just Tim Hortons. It's everywhere. So anyway, I went to Lakeside. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with what I bought in Lakeside, but I thought I'd have a look for <laughs> some Wonder Woman merch. So you got so this is HMV. So you got Wonder Woman 1984, which I love. And then you've got the uh, original Wonder Woman um, 2017 movie, and that's a, that's a two pack, um, 11.99. And I don't, I don't have Wonder Woman, but I'm, I'm really getting into um, CEX at the moment. Uh, oh look, they had uh, the bendy figs. I really rate these bendy figs. They, had, they did have a Wonder Woman figure from 1984, but I've really been getting into CEX. Never, <laughs> never used to buy anything in CEX. Um, never, never looked at Blu-rays before. Wonder Woman on Blu-ray, one pound. So I bought that, one pound, let your eyes be your guide. Um, I also, one of the one of the things, um, as you turn into Tilbury Fort, there's a pub, literally in the middle of nowhere, called The World's End. Um, and that's another movie location video that I'll be doing at some point. And I, <laughs> and I also bought The World's End on Blu-ray as well, for a pound. I mean, you can't go wrong, CEX. <laughs> it's one of my new favourite places. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, I, I know it went on a bit. I didn't mean it to go this long, but um, there was just so much to see. But um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. It also helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.